What's up, future respiratory therapist? In this video, we're gonna be talking about the difference between volume control versus volume guarantee. They sound like the same, but they're not. Let's dive in. All right, so as I say, we're talking all about volume control versus volume guarantee. Before we jump into that, do me a favor. Head over to respiratorycoach.com. Check out the Respiratory Coach Academy where you will find the TMC and the CSE boot camps designed to aid and assist you in passing your credentialing exams on the first attempt. Go get that RRT. I would appreciate it if you would check that out. Uh, volume control versus volume guarantee. Now, the screen is broken up into two sides. On the left side of the screen here, what we see is volume control features, and then we're gonna compare those to volume guarantee features over here. We're gonna start with volume control. Here's what it looks like. In volume control, the vent delivers the set tidal volume. It's that simple. You tell the ventilator, you set a tidal volume, you say 450 milliliters, 400 milliliters, 490 milliliters, 500 milliliters, however many milliliters are appropriate for your patient, you set that tidal volume and then the ventilator delivers that volume, breath after breath after breath, uh, depending on specifically which type of volume control mode you're in. But any mandatory breaths will deliver that set tidal volume regardless of anything else. Which brings us to point number two, which is, is that volume control is not pressure regulated. Or as I said here, pressure is unregulated. Now, what does that mean? That means that when the ventilator delivers the set tidal volume, pressure can go as high as it's going to go based off of compliance and resistance. Now, I know what you're thinking. Yeah, but we have an alarm. And you're right, we do have an alarm, but that's an alarm. It's a high pressure alarm that will notify us if that alarm is reached. My point here is, is that that is not innately built into the mode being volume control. If you were to uh, turn that alarm uh, as high as you could, uh, then the pressures could go as high as, as, as they'll go uh, because the alarm is set inappropriately. If you could imagine this mode without that alarm, then nothing would stop the volume from being delivered based off of pressure. That's the way volume control works. Now, what that tells us is that it's volume limited. You see, the ventilator will deliver the 450 milliliters. Now, to understand what volume limited means, we have to go back to basic mechanical ventilation terminology and remind ourselves what is a limit and the limit is the variable that will not be exceeded during inspiration well it's volume limited so the tidal volume is what is going that the ventilator is not going to exceed so if you tell it to deliver 450 milliliters it's not going to deliver 500 milliliters or 550 milliliters it's going to deliver whatever the set tidal volume is and it will not exceed that Okay, so it's volume limited. And then the final point here for volume control is that it is an open loop mode of mechanical ventilation. Now, open loop mode means that it does what you tell it to do. It's not gonna make any automated changes on its own. It's not gonna go, oh, this is happening, so I should automatically do this. That's not the way this works. Okay, this mode specifically is going to do exactly what you tell it to do and nothing else. Okay, so that's volume control. Now things change a little bit when we talk about volume guarantee. Because you see, the first thing we notice is in volume control, the ventilator delivers the set tidal volume. In volume guarantee, the ventilator, it adjusts the pressure to deliver the target tidal volume. I'm gonna say that again. It automatically adjusts pressure up or down to achieve the set tidal volume. See, in volume guarantee, you're not really setting a set tidal volume, you are setting a target tidal volume. Then the ventilator says, okay, I'm gonna operate in controlling pressure to achieve that volume. But the ventilator doesn't think the same as it does in volume control where it says, oh, deliver 450, got it, boom. No, it targets it by adjusting pressure. Therefore, pressure is regulated. This ventilator is going to make small incremental changes in pressure. That means it's going to be pressure limited. So the way these modes are designed, these volume guaranteed or, or, or volume targeted modes operate is they, 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 they're, they're basically an automated 
pressure control mode of mechanical ventilation designed to reach the target tidal volume. That also makes it a closed loop mode of mechanical ventilation. So when I say closed loop, I mean the ventilator talks to itself. It communicates with itself. It delivers a breath. Feedback comes back from what happened with that breath. And the ventilator says, oh, I need to make an adjustment. So it makes that adjustment based off of what? What was the feedback based off of the last delivered tidal volume? So let's say that you have a tidal volume that is targeted at 450 milliliters. If that tidal volume comes back at 350 milliliters, the ventilator says, wait a second, tidal volume's not reaching the target. So what should I do? Increase the pressure, more pressure, more volume. So it increases incrementally the volume or the pressure being delivered. It reassesses again. Tidal volume is still low. Turn up the pressure more. Tidal volume is still low. Turn up the pressure more until it reaches a max pressure limit to where it says, okay, I'm still not reaching my target tidal volume, but I've, I've reached my max limit. I, I, I was told not to go any further than this. Okay. Um, and so that's where we see the difference in volume control versus volume guarantee. Quick recap here. Volume control delivers the set tidal volume. Volume guarantee automatically adjusts pressure to achieve the target tidal volume. And I want to say this here also. It doesn't adjust the pressure until the volume is reached. So it doesn't, when it delivers a volume, a breath, it delivers that pressure. It's waiting for that exhale tidal volume to come back for it to make a decision. If it comes back in the range of the target tidal volume, it says, perfect, that's where I need to stay. If it, if it increases pressure and then the volume comes back greater than the target tidal volume, then on the next breath, it's going to say, that tidal volume was too big. Let's turn the pressure down now. So it's constantly adjusting the pressure to make sure we're getting that volume that we are targeting. Not controlling the volume that's being delivered. It is adjusting to keep us in that target range. And again, what are those adjustments based off of? Exhale tidal volumes. Based off of what? Compliance and resistance. Remember, in mechanical ventilation, if you're in pressure control and your patients become, or your patient's lungs become less compliant, your volumes are gonna go down. So in volume guarantee, the ventilator says, turn up the pressure because volumes are going down. So. There we see it all comes, always comes back to compliance and resistance. Um, volume control is not pressure regulated. Volume guarantee is pressure regulated. Uh, volume limited in volume control, it will not exceed that volume. In volume guarantee, it is pressure limited. Internally, it says, I'm not going to exceed this pressure. But again, like I said, if you have an improvement in compliance and the pressure stays the same, you could get a tidal volume that is larger than the target tidal volume. But the vent's gonna go, wait a second, that's larger than the target tidal volume. Turn the pressure down. So we see that it's not volume limited, it is pressure limited. And then finally, open loop form of mechanical ventilation. The vent doesn't talk to itself. It does what you tell it to do. Volume guarantee, closed loop mode of mechanical ventilation. The ventilator talks to itself. It says, hey, volumes are too high. Turn the pressure down. Volumes aren't high enough. Turn the pressure up. Adjust yourself to reach that target tidal volume. That's what we mean by closed loop forms of mechanical ventilation. That is volume control versus volume guarantee in a nutshell. Uh, I'm Risk Free Coach. Stay right here with me on YouTube. If you haven't already done so, hit the like, the subscribe, and leave me a comment. I'd love to hear what your experience is with volume control and or volume guarantee. Socials, Instagram, TikTok, come follow me at Respiratory Coach, LinkedIn, at Joe Lewis. Don't forget about the website, respiratorycoach.com, where you'll find the TMC and the CSC boot camps waiting right there for you so that you can get that RRT and start being a registered respiratory therapist you want to be. Remember, average is easy. Don't be it.